Okay, so today I'm going to be demonstrating our second quick bread, which is applesauce muffins. Really, really great recipe. It has a lot of different um, spices in it. Makes it really smell awesome. And we try to incorporate a little bit of a whole wheat flour to make it a, a healthier recipe too. So to save time, what I did today, I've already measured out all my ingredients, okay? Because this is going to take some time for people to measure out so i decided you should know what you're doing you should know how to measure ingredients at this point if i've measured out of everything i'm just going to talk through a few things i've already measured my one and a half cup of all-purpose flour a lot of the spices the cinnamon the allspice the nutmeg they are all spices and i just want you to be aware that the spices have like a sprinkle top on them and then they have a cap that you're going to take off. So you're going to take the cap off. It's going to be too hard or it's going to take you too long to sprinkle it into a measuring spoon. So take the cap off. You would then either put your spoon in or pour it. Make sure you have two pieces of wax paper and then of course level it off. I have my brown sugar again I've packed it I've leveled it off and I saved this part hopefully you can see you're going to then make sure that it stays together and then before it goes in the recipe you're going to crumble it of course I have my hair up I have my aprons on and my apron on and I've already washed my hands I then have a half cup of regular granulated sugar I have my allspice my salt my nutmeg my baking powder my baking soda so we are using both the baking powder and the baking soda and they are the same amount so you have to make sure that you measure both or your recipe will not come out properly I have my egg cracked in a custard bowl there are no shells it looks like a good egg I then have a container of apple sauce so you don't have to do anything to this all you're going to have to do is have it open because it's already measured at a half cup i then have three tablespoons you could either use apple juice or water due to the fact that i use whole wheat flour it tends to dry it out a little bit so we add a little bit of liquid at the end so I have three tablespoons of apple juice if you did if you made this at home you didn't have apple juice just use water what i tend to do i even water it down uh, a little bit throughout the day especially if i'm running out of it um, in my classes so i've measured everything out i have my oven preheated i am going to show you how to put the ingredients together so it says in a large bowl to combine, so a large bowl and I have a medium bowl. So two people will be doing this at the same time. So I'm one person, so I'm gonna start in a large bowl, it says to combine. So combine means to mix together. So I'm gonna carefully take my ingredients. Again, make sure you're using big enough pieces of wax paper, okay? If you don't have enough wax paper, you're going to end up spilling it. Again, make sure when you're measuring, you're measuring, you're leveling off, you have another piece of wax paper already cut up for you to put the leveled amount on. So flour, I'm gonna then grab my whole wheat flour, my brown sugar that's already been crumbled up, I have a garbage to my left here. My granulated sugar. My allspice. My salt. I'm going to bring this all to me. Basically, all my dry ingredients. My nutmeg, my baking soda, and my baking powder. Okay, so I'm going to put them all in. It says to combine. So I'm just going to stir them together, mix them together. Again, there's a lot of brown spices, and I believe they are different amounts. Uh, some of them are a teaspoon, some of them are a half teaspoon. So again, make sure you're measuring properly and looking at the size of your measuring spoon. So it says to combine, so I have a spoon close by, I have a leveler close by, I have a wooden spoon, I have a rubber scraper. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my wooden spoon and I'm gonna combine it. Basically, I'm just mixing it all together, and you're gonna smell this at this point. You're gonna smell all those spices. It smells really, really good. It kind of reminds me of like um, the pump, a pumpkin pie smell. Just get it all combined. Should no longer look like ripe white flour. It should have a hint of light brown to it. Make sure you get those chunks of the brown sugar incorporated too. So while somebody is doing this either the head cook or the assistant cook the other person will be doing in a medium bowl so i'm going to switch gears 
It then says in a medium bowl, you're going to add your egg, basically all the other ingredients. My egg, my oil, again, measured in a liquid measuring cup at eye level on a flat surface. My applesauce that has already been pre-measured. Again, I have a rubber scraper here. You're going to want all that applesauce. So just use that to scrape it all out. And then the apple juice. Okay, and it says to mix this together. So I'm just going to take my rubber scraper. You may need some help with this. I think actually on the planning sheet I have a whisk, so usually you use a whisk to blend, especially with that egg and the oil, so I'm going to take the whisk at this point, and you're going to whisk that all together. Okay, so one of the biggest things with making quick breads, uh, which is a muffin, is properly mixing your dry and liquid ingredients. You never want to over mix muffin batter, because I can tell without even tasting one of your muffins, if you um, over mixed your muffin. It would have peaks on top, would have a peak like that, it wouldn't have that nice round shape to the top. If I were to bite into it, if I got hungry throughout the day, um, I would bite into it and there would be large tunnels, small tunnels are normal. Okay, so at this point it says to add, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I'm gonna make a well in the center of my dry ingredients and I'm going to pour my wet ingredients into that well in the middle. And this is where you want to be very, very careful, okay? You do not want to over mix. So I'm going to be showing you what they should look like when they come out. So I have to make sure I properly mix them because if I have peaks, that's not going to be good, okay? So I'm going to, as usual, I like to take my rubber scraper. You do not want to over mix. So you're going to lightly toss and stir just until all that flour is combined. You're not taking and mixing it like this, okay? Very carefully lift it up and toss it either with your rubber scraper or your wooden spoon. Again, you know I tend to like the rubber scraper because I'm scraping and I'm lifting it up as we go. I'm getting all that dry flour combined. Okay, just keep scraping. You're seeing how that flour may be hard to see on the video. Just kind of lifting it up, making sure my egg is combined, my flour is combined, and all my spices, okay? Very carefully. And that is basically your batter. Okay, so at this point, you're going to line your muffin tin with paper liners, just one liner. It's going to make 12 muffins. And what you're going to need at the end is always keep your rubber scraper and your wooden spoon to the end and you're going to need two large spoons because that's how you're going to get the batter into the muffin cup. So I'm just looking at the time because I need time. I don't want the bell to go off. I am in school doing this and I want to eventually be able to show you the end product. Okay, so you're going to bring the batter close to you. I'm going to try to do it from the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take two large tablespoons, okay, and what I'm going to do is take a nice big heaping spoonful, and then I'm going to use the other spoon to drop it into the muffin tin. You want to try to make sure you don't get it all over the tin, too. So I'm going to go nice one big full scoop, and I'm going to push it down. I'm going to do that in each, and then if I have any leftover batter, I'm going to top them off, but I want to make sure I get at least 12. So I'm going to do that to each one. Another nice big scoop. I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to go another big scoop. I'm trying to do the same amount in each muffin tin. Another big scoop. So I've got six, got six right now. I'm halfway through. Excuse me, Ms. Hamilton? This is Mrs. Sauer's room. I'm sorry, do we know where Ms. Hamilton's class is off? I think she's on hall duty right now, isn't she? Not according to this student's schedule, but I'll double check. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure, Kate. I'm in the middle of a video. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay, so um, unfortunately, I didn't think that was going to happen. I have on uh, my door um, videotaping in progress. Do not disturb, but 
Um, they're apparently looking for Miss Hamilton. I don't quite know where her class is. So we're going to go with it. I'm not going to edit this at all. Kind of keep going. I got another nice big scoop here. I'm going to try to edit again. So I have batter all over the place here. And I'm going to scrape this all. A nice another one more big scoop. I'm going to bring this over here. And some of it did just fall on my um, muffin tray, but I'll get that up. So basically, I have even amounts in all. I see that I could use maybe a little bit more here. That may have when maybe when the intercom came on, I was more concerned about that than the muffins at that point. And I see another one again, just keep scraping. So about halfway in each muffin, I have maybe a little bit too much there, and I'm going to add it there. And I'm going to say that I'm good. All right, so I'm just going to take, grab a paper towel. I'm going to try to clean that up, make it easier clean up in the end. Just take a paper towel and scrape that excess up. I'm going to fix that. So what I like to do at this point is just tap your tray. I'm going to grab oven mitts, and I believe these cook from anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. So I, I always put the timer at the lower temperature. If I put it at 25, they could burn, okay? So always go with the lower temperature. I may even go with 18 because sometimes these tend to overcook. So I'm going to even go 18 minutes, and then I could always add time. I can't take time away once it's overcooked, all right? So I'll show you when they come out what they look like. Okay, so the muffins have about 50 seconds before they come out of the oven. So as I said, I put them in for 18 minutes. I checked them at that point. I felt they needed a few more minutes, so I added three more minutes. So I'm hoping at that point they're going to be done. So that was about 21, 22 minutes it took. You're not going to be here to take the muffins out. I'll be taking them out. I'll have bags labeled and letting them cool off and then wrapping them up uh, for the second day. So day two, just coming in and eating them and, of course, uh, cleaning your muffin tins, right? So when they do come out, there's a test to see if they are done. If you have a toothpick, you can put a toothpick in the middle and it should come out clean. If it comes out wet, you're going to add a couple of minutes. So one or two minutes at a time because you don't want to overcook the muffins. So I have about seven seconds. I'm going to get my oven mitts on. I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to show you um, what they look like. So hopefully they don't have any peaks. So I'm opening up the oven. And I see that I have some nice rounded tops, no peak tops. I promise these are the ones that I demonstrated. I didn't switch them out. Okay, so they're very hot right now. Again, you're not going to be here to take them out. This is what they look like. They all look pretty even in size. I have a nice rounded top and it smells absolutely delicious in the classroom. So this is applesauce muffins made with a little bit of whole wheat flour to incorporate some more fiber into your diet. So again, I do this uh, here in class. You get two or three depending on the number of people in your group and then you could go home and make it at home for your family. Okay, so hopefully you'll enjoy the applesauce muffins. What I didn't do, I don't think, I don't remember if I tested one. So what you want to do is put the toothpick inside. I could have did it and I just totally forgot. All right, and it actually came out dry. If it came out wet, that means you're gonna add a little bit of time to it, okay? Perfect. I think I did do it. 